with Matt Stinchcomb at uh, Eggleston's Children's Hospital in the zone uh, at, at Eggleston. Tell us a little bit about the zone and your involvement along with your brother and, and how you got into this. Just a little background. Yeah, well, this is a great facility um, within a hospital. And the whole goal, it seems like, in any of the children's hospitals of the three, Eggleston, Scottish Rite, and Hugh Spaulding, uh, they make it a point to try to make the kids feel as if they're somewhere other than a healthcare facility. Um, so this is a great spot to be able to do it, to be able to be with these kids that uh, are fighting. They're fighting really, they're fighting really hard in some really important battles. And um, uh, if you can come, be a little bit of a part of it um, and help them and support them, um, then that's a that's a great day and a good opportunity. Uh, you're, you're in, uh, and John have been doing this, I think, 10 years now? This is the 10th year, yes. Yeah. It's the 10th year that we've done it. Yeah. And you, uh, you you guys organized it and uh, and, and, and wrote uh, David Green into helping you out. Uh, it, it's done well, right? It has. You know, we're, we are a very small part of it. Uh, we cooked it up idea-wise, but there are so many other people, including the, the charities themselves, that... Um, of the infrastructure, really the backbone of all of it. Because uh, at the end of the day, we can cook up some great ideas. We're not always great at figuring out how to implement them or if they make sense. Um, and then the bigger piece has been the fan support, the people that I think recognize uh, that there's opportunities to impact others in some big ways. Um, the guys that are in the program now, the current players, former players, um, the the uh, athletic association has been great uh, to this cause as well over at Georgia, so it really has been kind of a, a universal effort, um, which makes sense because um, uh, to help out kids is kind of the universal demographic. You know, at, at one point in time we were all a kid, and many of us may have kids of our own now. Um, and so I think to have that kind of effort from so many different sources, it makes a lot of sense. We were talking a few minutes ago about the countdown to kickoff and what a great opportunity it is to actually get on the field at yeah. Stanford Stadium. Yeah. It, that's uh, something that uh, very few people get to do. Well, they'll and, find you if you get down there. I that's mean, right. The conference doesn't mess around. They make it very clear. They don't. You're not to be down there unless you're uh, unless you're a player or a coach. Um, it is. It's a great opportunity, uh, and we're really grateful that we get to, to host this event uh, in there. You know, there's, there's other events that we do. There's a golf tournament around this effort. Um, there's a there's a party that we host at the College Football Hall of Fame that have been great partners for us as well. Um, but the big one is the fan festival in the stadium, and I mean, really, we do have just about everything other than an opponent. Uh, and some officials, we didn't think they were necessary. Uh, but you've got the team there, you've got the mascots there, the cheerleaders, the band, the dancers. Uh, the big screen is going to be lit up. Uh, you know, you've really got the entire game day atmosphere, um, except you get to be on the field. Mm -hmm. And so it's, um, it's a unique experience, I think, for, for a lot of fans. Let's talk for just a second about 2015 football. Uh, so, uh, first, give us the record. What's the in record going to be so that all our gambling viewers can get <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Uh, no, two questions, I guess. How many times have you been asked this summer about the quarterback uh, competition? At, uh, this will be twice. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> okay, here's the question. Who's it going to be? You know, I think um, that it'll end up being the, the Ramsey kid. Um, but the, the truth is, is that as important a position as quarterback is, and there is no more important position on the field anyway uh, than that one. There's some others that play key roles, but you can have the biggest impact um, at that position on the prospects of a team's success. Uh, that said, you look at this team and the way that it's constructed going into the season, knowing what you have in the offensive backfield at positions other than the quarterback spot, and knowing what you have up front uh, from an offensive line perspective, uh, there's opportunity for quarterback to be somewhat marginalized, frankly. Um, the Ramsey kid seems to have a lot of skills, uh, but I think the, the fundamental characteristic that they're going to want to capture is decision-making. Mm -hmm. And coaches have expressed that, Coach Schottenheimer and Coach Rick. They're going to really emphasize in their evaluation what types of decisions are being made with the guy who's 
really the conduit for the entire offense. Uh, and that's the quarterback spot. Uh, so I think if, if, uh, if Bryce Ramsey does a good job of that, uh, then he's got a great shot. That said, Fatone Balta has demonstrated that he's not only got a really gra good grasp of what they're trying to do offensively, um, he's got a lot of the intangibles that you hear thrown around. A lot of times people say that just as a throwaway. No, I think it's genuine with him um, and that he's got a lot of uh, leadership characteristics, just tremendous effort, has a nice run element to his game. Um, so I don't know that you cede a ton of ground if it ends up being about it. Um, but if you had to just throw something out there before they even started practicing, I think that Ramsey would probably be the leader in the clubhouse. Thank you very much. Yep.